the hell contagion engines in this format? He says, repeating himself since he was on mute. Is that even good? It's a bit expensive, but I mean... I don't know if it's busted in this format. I guess I'll take it and try it. Interrupter's decent. I want to play this too, as Memory Jar's great fun. I don't know. I have a feeling this is not going to be so good in this format. Breaches is also a pretty cool build around. Prickly Pear is safe. You know what? I'm going to take the Breach. ETB, make a 2-2, two, two, and then put 2-1-1 one, one count for each spell you've cast other than the first. Yeah, that card's good. Damn, look how fat that zombie token is. What the hell? That guy lifts. For sure. Hmm. Oh my god, no! <laughs> okay, well. <sighs> if you're gonna derail, you might as well derail pretty hard. Probably just take the land now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man, this guy's so good. The Burrow Fiend. Actually, Interference looks pretty good here too. Sorry, Conduit Pylon. I need a lot of those dual deserts. Format's great. Wow, this is a pretty late uh, robber. Card's good. Four mana, four, three, make a two, two. Card does work. Oh, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Oh. What is even happening in that cruel ultimatum art? Some like dragon is blowing up a train or something? But it's got like chainsaw wheels. The most moist. I guess we'll get mucky. Three mana, two, four. A hey, nice wheel. Oh, it does. It covers the Y in Prosperity Post. <laughs> a gardener would be fine, too. You let us down last time with your YouTube video. Do not let us down again. We'll see. We'll see what happens.
Uh, Skullduggery is really good, but eh, I guess we'll take it. Already have a phantom. Interference. Bounce is fine. Does breaches perform well? I don't think I've ever had breaches trigger. This seems insane in the format, but what are you proliferating? One one counters? What is this? Oh yeah, this one's nuts too. ETB make a one 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 when an outlaw you control dies, drain. This is not the land we want. Ugh, I'd be much happier taking a duel here. I don't really want to take Mirage Mesa. I'm almost considering taking the Sentinel. <laughs> Works pretty well with breaches. But I guess I'll just take the land. Claim jumper too, that one's good. Shoot the sheriff is fine. It's a lot worse than uh it looks. So many outlaws. I mean I'll probably still take it here. Over conduit. Green blades nuts too. Yeah. Probably don't mind taking some Silver Deputies with this deck. This card's actually not too bad. This is also Artifact for Breaches, so... Let ride down. Lassoed by the Law is also great. Lots of these bandits going around too. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going blue, black, splashing red. So I'll take the ashes over the derailment, I think. God, where are the frickin'. Grixis lands, bro. Take the negotiation now for Bloodseeker. A singular entity. I shot the sheriff. Ah, wrong land again. But good pack, actually. Really good pack. Wow, for a pick seven. Damn. Divination or better. Raven's fine. Salvo's okay. Splash. Gardener. I kind of want to just keep taking removal or card draw. Eh, card draw is fixing. I'll take C's. Gardener over a conduit. Probably. The thing is, man, if you're, if you're using this for Cruel Ultimatum, then you have to have at least eight mana, you know?
What is it again? Assassin, mercenary, warlock, pirate, rogue. Eh, I don't have many, but I think it's still good. And now we'll take the bedrock, try it out. Jolene. So we didn't see a single Grixis land that second pack here, which kind of uh, feels bad. I mean, I'll take the conduit pylons, but I don't want to be running it if I can help it. What are pies rates? Too much. Too much for pies rates of seeds. Caustic Bronco's decent. Oh man, Caustic Bronco. Saddle reveal cruel ultimatum. Another shot the sheriff. Eh, just a good two drop. <laughs> All right, well, locked in. Let's go. Every piece of fixing I see. Every single piece of fixing I see. I see a I see a land, I take a land. God, where are the lands, dude? Ooh, repulse? Ah. <sighs> I should take the Silver Deputy now that I have two ultimatums, but man, this is the worst of the fixing. It's so bad. Repulse draws cards. Drawing cards is fixing, you know? Oh my god. We could do the we could do the lock picker with it now. I'm like this I don't think this is good fixing for this deck. It's only good because I have breaches, but otherwise it's pretty weak, I think. Come on, just a few more Grixis Deserts. We've only seen that one. Yes, thank you. Ah, Kervik is so good, but we're going to be disciplined here. Hera Morgan, thanks for the seven months, subby. Leech and do, thanks for the 46 months. Oh my god. I, oh god, man. Deserts do prickly pear. Five mana, four, four, bounce a tapped creature is probably okay. If I could get one more Grixis duel in the last two picks, that would be fantastic. Ling. Uh, I don't think, again, I don't want gold pan. Uh. 
I have a Mine Raider in the board already. I mean, we could play it, but I just... Forsaken Miner is really good, but not for our deck. We'll probably play that. Well, I only have... Maybe Neutralize is better. No, I like the Mourner Surprise. It's good value. Alright, I mean, I will play the second Silver du Deputy now that it came back, but... Jeez, man. Seen like two or three knife points. I feel like I do want the Sentinels, or at least one. I could just cut this random 2-2 two, two for 2 and play this, which is more online with our casting Cruel Ultimatum theme. Yeah, let's see. We have three mercenaries, one pirate, three rogues, and a warlock. I guess I could cut the mercenary. It's fine. I mean, a 2-4 for 3 is not bad, but well, wouldn't I just rather run another bedrock then? Rather just run another bedrock. All right, these five for sure. I'm not sold on the conduit, but I guess I'll run it. Five, six, seven. All right, let's go. Not even one cruel ultimatum. We're double cruel ultimatuming. Hey, Lynn, thanks for becoming a member of the YouTube sub club. Oh, I forgot. I should have actually held that land, shouldn't I? Oh no, I wouldn't have been able to do it on turn two anyways, never mind. Two lands gone. Two four? Unbeatable. Confirmed. Now let's chill out. Paladino.
I block. that resolve. Now we counter their 5-4. <laughs> Sucker! You got played. So we're a red and a black away from ultimatum mana. Ooh, that's annoying. Wow. Mind rot so good versus my deck. <laughs> Oh no, they can kill the engine with that. Wow, that was a fantastic draw, holy smokes. That was actually an insane draw. Drawing Shoot the Sheriff was an extra 2-2 counter on the zombie. Wait, is this all zombies? Oh, that token. An extra 2-2 counter, an extra 2-2 zombie. I went from no board state to that, lol. What's up, Sarge? Thanks for 56. Engine's good, but I don't think it's a bomb bomb. I don't think there are enough synergies for it to really shine. I mean, it's still good when your opponent goes wide and you have a little bit of time, but... Where's Jesus? Thanks for the 19. Destroy... wait, what was that? Destroy each artifact, creature, and enchantment with a val mana value X. So they were able to kill my zombies. It's kind of cool. Well, we have a plan. Any tips for beginners? Consume a lot of content, or if you can, just start playing a lot. Alright, one black source away. I'm gonna wait one more turn on Contagion, although I think it would have been okay right there. I don't really care that they're hitting me for a bunch of two lifelink. Sure. <laughs> I don't want to tap land. Oh wait, I can cast it? Wait, can I not math right? Oh, right, I had seven lands. Derp. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, feels like I can't lose. The 
Theo, thanks for the prime subby. Jeez, we have the combo. Actually, I could repulse my own Stitcher if I wanted to. But repulse there. Beaver. The Nabbit. Pretty funny. <laughs> Rise the Vermin is so good. Or Rise, Rise the Varmints, rather. Octofan thinks the six month subby. Damn, they keep ripping. What the heck? Deck ourselves. I have 12 cards left. Man, they are just six lands, seven lands stop. They keep ripping spells. Sheesh. I don't think using the Contagion there was that good, but it was fine. Alright. They are out of gas. Not that I have much anything going on. Ten cards left in my deck. Nope, we're gonna bounce our Stitcher if anything. Now I'm not going to bounce my Stitcher. I'm going to just leave that on top because we do not have that many cards left. <laughs> oh my god, I could deck with the Bronco too.
Dude, three ultimatums? If I cast a, no, an ultimatum at this point, I'd nearly deck myself. I want to lose the flip here. Is that exactly enough? That's exactly enough, right? I have three cards in my deck. This works. Hey, zero to twenty. Zero cards in library. Ah, perfect. The perfect game. Nobody beats the third cruel ultimatum. Sounds pretty good. Turn two Bronco on the play could just take over the game. Could also just die. I proliferated their, um, their 2-2 flyer that had a 1-1 counter on it. <laughs> I mean, we can lockpick and make him discard it again. Kind of wrecking this opponent, too. Oh, that was a good card. Oh, man. Oh, wait, this is five. Never mind. I was going to say, I want to get greedy and plot this, but I guess we can't do that, can we? I probably should just take their Contagion Engine. I guess I could Consuming Ashes that. I mean, I have the failed... What is this called? Failed Fording? I guess I don't need to yet. Just consume their Summoner. Eh, but this seems fine. question is, do I want a deputy now or hold up the Ford? 
probably safest just to hold up the Ford. If they rip something, they could snowball me. I like seeing a 1-3. Well, it's too good not to run out the Stitcher, so this is the turn if they rip something nice for them, but... Plus one life. Baby! Here's what we're going to do. We're going to Deputy. Let's get a black or red. Actually, I don't need to put a land on top. Oh god, did they draw the 4 damage and blow up an artifact? Really? Man, come on, you had one draw. Ay, ay, ay. We're just running out of 4-4 four, four here. What a blue fan. 96 months subby, hello. Dude, seriously? Man, come on. <sighs> I mean, I was crushing, but they ripped some pretty good ones. Even if we draw the Contagion Engine, I don't have the mana for it yet. Insta top. Uh oh. It's not good. Oh, wait. I do have the mana. <laughs> I'm silly. Yeah, I caught it. 
This doesn't trample, right? No. No, no! It didn't. <sighs> okay. It's fine. What? Why did they salvo that? I guess there was nothing better. Jeez, the freaking wheeze, dude. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, we're getting crushed now. And they topped something, so. That's good beats. Again, they were hellbent that one turn. We went for the value play and they ripped the two for one, uh, three for one at that point, actually. Then they drew the posse. I mean, that's magic, baby. Ah. <sighs> It wasn't a 4 for 1 because the repulse wasn't. It has to resolve, anyways. It's three cards. Oh, God. There's that rare that adds an extra combat and stuff, but I guess they would have attacked with everything, right? Are you kidding? Bro, getting wrecked. All right, Contagion Engine or bust. What's it better to bounce here? I guess the one that gets first strike and stuff. We're still okay if I rip Contagion Engine, but let's see, I'm gonna be taking four here. I don't know. What, oh, this is the Blood Maker thing. Sure. I saw an artifact. I got excited. I'm not dead on board. <sighs> Still not dead on board, and that is card I can shoot the sheriff on. So, yeah, if we rip the engine, we're still in this. It's going to be hard to beat the font, maybe, but... Oh wait, maybe we are, we are just dead. They do have- oh, because this is a mount, right. GG rip. Good beats. Uh, yeah. We were- we were crushing until the, uh, containment into posse draw. Pretty disgusting. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I didn't need to go for the repulse play. That was definitely greedy. This hand's real good, huh? Zumi Link Breaker. Black red, maybe. Indeed. Shoot the sheriff is not going to be very good here. Jamina, thanks for the 40 months of E. With the crew? I haven't. Uh, Black Red is effectively all outlaws, so. Legit might just be right to run this out next turn. Probably is. Hey! That's a sheriff target, baby. Still think we're running this out. Oh, and the, like, they didn't make a land drop that turn, so if had they hit the land there, it would have been perfect. I don't think that was strange at all. Why did they hard cast? Because they wanted to keep pressuring and they hadn't had a land. That was a totally reasonable cast of a Wolverine. Uh-oh. That's bad. <sighs> this is the easiest punt of my life. <laughs> I noticed as soon as I made the block. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't actually work. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I can just triple block. And then I made the block, and then my brain started working. Yo, Flynn's thinks the 27 months. Wait, what? <laughs> we both made mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> we both punted. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I mean, they get to attack with the miner. I guess that's not irrelevant. I just take four. I probably bounce a token here. No, we'll bounce the stinger. We're gonna draw our contagion. I'm sure. Let's not make the same mistake again, huh? Uh, 
Yeah, probably need to take the draw three. Uh, with a swamp next turn, we can cruel. Or a mountain. Actually, I don't think I have any more mountains, do I? Or did I run two? And let's just draw a swamp. And then he swamped all over. I could jump there. I don't think I need to. It's probably going to be better to jump next turn. Mobile. Dang it. Dobbs. No, not quite, but close. Wait, no, I am Dobbs. Wait. I think I was, anyways. Yeah, maybe I'm running too many blue sources. I might want to shave an island for an extra swamp in this deck. I think they could have killed me, though. Alright, chump, chump, bounce, and pray. Or is it actually better to keep the Bronco and... You know, it could be better to actually keep the Bronco to give me an extra draw. Go to three. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, I could die to Bronco trigger, but... Well, that was the beats. If we're dying to the trigger, we weren't winning anyways. I had to rip a swamp there. That was my only chance, so I think I think that was the right move. Ah, damn, man. I feel like our two losses were just unfortunate, especially the first one. Maybe that second one, there wasn't much to be done. Well, except for not chumping with the 2-2 two -two that one turn, but... That first loss sucked. I think this is a good cruel ultimatum deck. I mean, it, yes, sure, it's a little bit meme, but I think it's definitely solid. I mean, we have. We have Contagion Engine, which is similar. Yeah, I mean, this is a good looking opener. Again, the uh, shoot the sheriff could be quite poor. Currently, a sad one and two. Don't do it. No two twos, bro. All right, you can accept a one one. Black, white, cat, beast, mount. You know what that is? Not an outlaw. I would like to save, but. No creature pre-combat to mount. I see.
God, I hate these silver, silver deputies. Gardener is dead. I'm not above just casting out a 4-3 here. Now we can rope the buzzard next turn. Gotta play the tap land. I think they swing with all. At least I would have swung with all if I were them. I'm still very close to dead here. Like the buzzard doesn't get a counter, so. Man. Oh well. Dobbs. <laughs> we gotta leave it on top though. Good beats. Our deck was so cool. So cool. We did decide a bunch of uh, one ones every single game, though. Sad, double cruel ultimatum. It will never happen again. I don't even think this deck was bad, but good beats, Juju's. Yeah, maybe I should have taken that uh, minus one, minus one. I kind of wanted to open another uh, cruel ultimatum there. We'll take the Sphinx. Brigand is pretty great. Repulse is fantastic. Burrow Fiend's good. Knife Point's fun. A lot of nice cards. Yeah, there was that one game where it was hard to cast it. But yeah, I keep saying it. There are going to be some times where you just cast this on turn four, and then you never need to cast another another spell. It's another pretty solid pack. I like both of these. Sharpshooter's real nice. This is ranked. Uh, it's just... Bugging out and not showing. I've done a ton of red blue. I'm going to take the Aloe Alchemist just to go a little bit of a different route. Binding's good. Oh man, that was excellent because this card is nuts. This card's been so good. 
draw three as a floor and then get the plot a lot of the time. Oh, Binding's a mythic in this too. The deserts aren't uh, duels though, so. Shepherd of the Clouds also great. It's a longhorn, thanks to the five months subby. Prickly pear's good. Yes, Armadillo's also great. Lots of good green stuff here. Seven seven reach ward three for six. Also useful early game. Leyline binding at four is still broken. No, at four it's not broken. It's very good though. Jeez, that is scary. <sighs> I don't think this is supposed to go fifth pick in pack one. Salvo here is good. I mean, I could take the stop cold, but... There are three good Boros cards in this one pack. So I'm okay just taking it and see what happens. This is ranked. It just doesn't show as ranked. It's a visual bug. Mm, the visual bug was usually for different formats, not for the actual current one. <laughs> uh, what is this? Search the library for five lands that have different names. Exile shelf. Give me a choose card. That's cool. I don't think it's particularly good. I mean, it might be what we're doing. Pick five and six, form a posse. <sighs> I couldn't tell you my top three colors, but I could tell you my top five. It's too early, man. Uh, is this, is this even good at this point? I mean, I guess I'm just going to do it. And now I think we just want to curve out beforehand. It is really good. My blue green is still really good as well, but it's kind of absurd. This is, this is like... Day one, day two things. This is not going to happen again in pack one. Jeez, repulse wheels too? Golly. There's the ride down for the red-white. Actually just building two different decks. I'm not planning on playing blue white. We could try three ish colors, but. Wow, 
Wow, that's a really late unfortunate accident too. Card's great. Kellen joins up. Double Brimstone Roundup Pack. All right. Well, to no surprise, I'm building two different decks, so we have a bunch of different choices here. I think the green-blue options are currently better than the red-white options. I mean, the Eryx is not bad, for sure, as a two-drop. In fact, it's a pretty good two-drop. Another Alchemist. Throw from the Saddle is great. Skewer is all right. Duelist. I'm guessing I should be Boros and take the Erinx here. No, this is such a good 3-1 first strike for two. Mystical Tether now, maybe. This is a reprint, right? Yeah, this is from like M10 or something. And I don't even know what before that. Abolisher's nice? Not really. It's like okay. Untap all target untap all creatures target player controls. Target creature gains double strike until end of turn. It's probably worth trying. I've actually never seen that card. Untap all creatures, target player controls, target creature gains double strike. Two mana for double strike is not very exciting. I guess untapping is actually not very exciting as well, but it does work really well with the pump effect. So main phase it and stuff. Like with three posses, it actually seems kind of good. And then just make one unblockable creature, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. Let's take another Erinx here. Yeah, like make a one fat creature with the posse and then ride down any blocker. Trample over. Yeah, fling. Hey, there it is. No, we're taking prickly pear there. <laughs> That's a cool combo too, though. Form a po three form of posse's fling. Whenever I hear prickly pear, I always think of Lion, or not Lion King, um, Jungle Book. Oh, Archmage's Charm. 2-4 that gains f a flying counter if I haven't cast a spell. Let's take the 1-1 one, one pinger. If you pick a paw, paw, or a prickly pear. It's fine. I think we have better two drops. I mean, maybe the peddlers, whatever. Like maybe I, if I don't have enough two drops, I'll run more of these, but I don't think I'm particularly interested. Am I not uploading drafts from the live stream anymore on YouTube? Bro, check the live tab on YouTube. How many videos have you missed? Titanburger, thanks for the 17 months. Twenty gems. I repeat, bro, check out the live tab on YouTube. You've been missing so many Kaizo runs. 
Twitchers, please. Don't make me say that tubers are more intelligent. Outlaw's Fury with three posse may be kind of good. Well, like, what's the minimum you want to do form a posse for? Three? So five mana? Probably. Four for two one ones is probably doable. Path to exile? All right, I take it. <laughs> the two birds are making up ground. Passing a holy cow. Pixie's actually pretty good too, I think. Hey! I'm done. I don't need any more posses. I actually think taking this inspiring vantage is excellent here. Coyote 2-2 two, two Haster is not bad. Decent ability. This card's really, really cool. 2-2 two, two Flying Haste for 2. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, investigate. Uh, I need a couple more combat tricks, I guess. Oh, that's really good. Jeez, Lasso, Tether, Prickly, another red-white land. This could have been a good is it seat. This could have been and is a good Boro seat as well. It says our creature count is low, but it's misleading since we have three posses. The lassoed makes a creature. What else? Makes an extra creature. Is cow better than prickly pear in this deck? I don't actually know. This makes two outlaws as well. So. <sighs> yeah, it would be nice to grab the flyer so that uh, all of my mercenaries can pump that, but. Actually, yeah, the Nurturing Pixie would have been great. It might wheel. Okay, well, we'll get a cow this time here over the Thunder Salvo. It's fine. The deck looks good. This is really nice as, like, Flood insurance in a Boros deck, you know? Wow, <laughs> double Inspiring Vantage, dude! We're constructed now! <laughs> All right, that's incredible. Uh, enters the battlefield with a 1-1 count out for... Yes, that thing's huge in our deck. Huge! He's the posse leader. Drew Badu, thanks for the 66 months. Pixie came back. That's probably the deck right there. I don't mind running 16 lands, even with triple pass. We have a couple of Erinx that all scry. I don't have that much card draw proper, but... We could still get quad pass. Uh, I'm not going to play quad pass. In fact, wow, take up the shield is... Really nice. I don't know. I don't know about this card. I'm going to try it, and I think it's good in our deck, but I don't think it's normally going to be all that great. I don't think this card is bad. You can probably cut the Duelist. It's fine for Reach, but we're not uh, literal Reach as well, but we're not really committing crimes. Probably my worst two drop. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have seven two drop. Well, I guess this is also not that great. Jeez.
Jeez. Just wield a, like four different removal spells in the last four picks. Salvo, Lullaby, Tether, what else? I don't think I need this medic, even though it's nice with pumpers. We still have six other two drops. I'm still going to go even split here, I think. All right, this deck looks good. Uh, 1-1, one, one, counter, lifelink, and indestructible for the turn. Saddle my saddle. Lost the die roll, can't win though. We're not going two and three. We don't care about that. If I had two red sources, I would have kept that on top to be able to go Coyote plus Ride Down up. My opponent's going to have that minus one, minus one to all creatures card, right? Pick your poison, my friend. Yeah, it's probably too good to pitch. Could I have saddled both? No. I don't want to cast the posse here. We're already crushing them and we have ride down, so. Saddle loses a damage. Doesn't add damage to saddle. A land was okay since we had posse, so I didn't need to scry. It is saddle two. I lose a damage. We just went over this. New wizard, thanks for the two months, Subby. Lost the die roll again. Uh-oh. Aggro mirror match. 
my Outlaw's Fury might not be all that great this game, but I'm guessing Take Up the Shield's gonna be fantastic. Oh god, help! Help! My opponent has played a 1-2 Haster on consecutive turns. And then they missed a land drop, so we win. I'm okay trading here. Even though we have the take up. Yeah, we'll keep that. Oh, well, this is a non game then. Just gonna play it safe and get rid of that thing before it randomly wrecks my life. You know what happened, right? They definitely got the prompt for smiley face. Yeah, all the people saying two and three, I just acquired my two wins. Lucky me. We lost the die roll again! This game sucks, dude! The odds of losing three die rolls in a row is like less than 2%. Unlucky. Oh well. Good beats. Infinix, thanks for the two months. No, see, that's not how it works. It's 50% on any given roll. But three in a row is less than 2%. Y'all pretending know what you talk about, but you're not. 12.5, I don't even know where that math comes from. Yeah, if you don't know math, you shouldn't be talking. It's less than 2%. Jesus, come on, guys. I did the math. That's how I know it's less than. I wish the Twitchers could see the tubers talk right now. I guess the tubers don't know. It's all right. They can keep saying 0. 0.5 times 0. 0.5 times 0. 0.5. Non-mount creature, not non-outlaw. Good. What are they doing over there? Kind of concerned. I guess they're just draining. Beginning of your end step, if you haven't cast a spell from your hand this turn, make a 1 4 or make a 2 2 flyer. That card's pretty good. I tap it. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is kind of bad. I'm, uh, I'm gonna lose to this thing, man. Sheesh. Done with your nices. You've been muted. Yeah, ride down would be pretty good. Hold on just a second. This doesn't give trample though. Doesn't even need to, huh? We'll find out in a minute, I guess. Don't even need to cast this, but hello, well, well, well. Damn, three and zero. Oh. Easy. You niced with the wrong posse. Hey, we won a die roll. Wow, that was lucky. Because if you lose three die rolls... No, wait, that, was, that wasn't lucky at all. If you lose three die rolls in a row, right, um, you're like 93.75% chance to win it on the fourth one. Again, tubers can say whatever they like, but they'd be wrong. Holy cow. I don't get it. Oh, and then they don't even do anything. <laughs> okay. Dude, I told you, chat, this trained Erinx is so good. You might not like it, but I think this is right. We have two more in the deck. We have two removal spells in hand. We can cast both of them next turn. Tubers? Nah. Tubers are great. See, it's like... You have two children. One of them is troublesome and you need to keep watch over them. That's Twitch. YouTube is the good child, so, you know. 
Just let him be. Oh god, ornery. That's making me orny. Best be on your behaviors. <laughs> that is one huge beaver. I'm one damage short of lethal next turn. Yeah, and a minute. Oh, you know what I should have? No, wait, that's the same difference. Never mind. I do want to do this because now all six of my creatures are lethal. Yo, Sergeant Silver Water, thanks for the two months of E. Rollin', rollin', rollin'. This is why you don't pass posse in the first pack like this. Herb! Yo, sure, yeah. La 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 la. Uh, chair stream. <laughs> yeah, da 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 da. Do 
Where did chair go? Sean Johnson, thank you for the six months. Stupid sexy Boros lost the die roll again. For the record, have I had turn two Erinx every game? At least that's lucky. I mean, it's not my fault you lost your channel points. Bond me. No, no punching. See what happens when we're on the draw, we lose. 2% chance every time. If they don't get to attack. Ooh, they're trying to race? I like that. Now that's what I call value! Do it, beaver me. Alright, you can pick up your cards and go home, friend. It's all ogre now. Not even Oko can save you anymore. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna upkeep this, see if we can find a land. <clears throat> Okay. Pick him up. Pick him up. You get chair again, chat.
we're going to avoid looking at our rank because it's not showing up visually. And then we're just going to rattle off a bunch of seven winners, take a peek, and we're number one. That's the hope slash plan. On the play, no Erinx. On the draw, Erinx. <gasps> On the play and Erinx? How lucky can I be? Perfect. Wow, what a wasted scry. The buzz. I don't think I'm going to actually keep that. Hello, hello. Oh, sweet Jesus. Wish I'd kept it. It's both. Wow, they're drawing a card with that many cards in their hands? How many four drops are in my deck? That's their best play with four mana. I'm wondering if I want a path here. Let's see. We have Quilled Charger and three Posses. That get better if I path right now. The vast majority don't punish me. Trees and land, thanks for the 68 month subby. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. I know they need land, but given how many cards in their hand, I need to pressure. Damn. Sucks. Rip. Now they get to, yeah, Jasper's insane. Jeez, double spell. Uh, I might need to bounce real quick. <sighs> baby, baby.
Did I die? Kind of. Oh yeah, Jasper's absolutely busted. You know what we needed? We needed the frickin' uh, Roadrunner. I got four now? <laughs> oh, we're so dead. I would, I would need to have ride down still. That's my only chance, but... I mean, maybe I should have saved the ride down. I don't know. Krolt, thanks for the 22 months, subby. Surprised they didn't just cast Posse for five. Weird. <laughs> All the posse's gone. Uh, Flint is so good. I mean, even if I did, I don't think there's a burn spell that goes four to face. Yeah, we're dead. Juju's. Darn, I have a loss. Bad news, I do not have the Erynx. Uh, I was debating playing the Pixie out turn one, but... I think I'm actually discarding Posse here. Roxanne? No, not yet. This might not be a very close game if the opponent kept a hand that is real slow. Yeah, tethering there is super tempting, but... Oh, I don't know why I did this. I should have just attacked first. That was definitely not a bad card to keep. I'm due! Life gain? This is not even that good. They're just gonna double block. Whoa, they didn't block at all? The hell? Oh, I guess they need the Gardener. They have some fat 7-drop. They're going to play the 7-7 seven, seven Armadillo, and I'm not going to have the lands to tether it. Sus! It's 
it's going to hurt me in those colors. I just rather have it planes. Do I tether their gardener here? I don't know what I'm supposed to be playing around. I could probably just go like this and attack with all. if they have the counter they do all right oh well that wasn't the counter I was talking about but nimble brigand No, another tappy tappy. No. I mean, we're still doing fine here, but is a four four good? When my opponent's at four? Probably. Oh, that's too bad for them. They had back for more. They just don't have any good targets. Or they didn't. Oh, they messed up. They could have made this a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, that card's absurd. You know what? I'm not going to risk them drawing a counter. I'm thinning out their deck, but... I think I just want to get rid of that right now. Anyways, they're at 10, effectively, so... Pretty good. All right, your move. <sighs> nice. Easy claps. Sing it. On the play, check. Two drop, three drop, check. No Erinx, check, mate. Unless... 
Wow, unlucky. Just the perfect four drop removal spell. Oh, Erinx, if I was on the draw, we would have had it, chat. How unlucky can I be? Path early on is not generally where you want to be. Pretty risk. Risky bisque. Sure. I think Erinx was a lot better than Prickly Pear. Now we're six and one. Eh, I mean, as much as I would like to scry, two extra damage is too relevant. Hobby Grant, thanks for the prime, Zubby. I've been humiliated! The best perfect possible draw! If they had a removal spell, they should have used it. You may discard if a card if you do... Okay, so you don't get to draw a card if you don't have a card to discard. Wait, what? They gave me a free scry? Now we want to draw plus two plus O to all my creatures. Boom! That's pretty good, too. Five mana pass, not sus. But you think I care? You show me what you have. Ain't good enough. Deadpool, thanks to the 44 months subby. Avenger, 42, 42, 42, thanks to the 22 months. New wizard getting wrecked by Mana Drain. Ouch. Dobbs. Easy. Lasso is easy. Alright, that helps uh, the one and three we had right before this. But the first deck was so much cooler. F Boros Posse. Bring back Grixis ultimatums. This is ranked. This is ranked. This is ranked. It's always ranked. Ranked is just bugged visually. It's ranked. This is ranked. It's ranked. This is ranked. Ranked has not gone away. Just join Premier Draft. It's ranked. Bruce Tarl, do I have to go Boros again? Whenever this enters or attacks, exile the top card. If it's a land, you make an ox. Otherwise, ugh, God, it's just too good. 
It's a 4-3 value machine. What's Eartha Joe? Also a 4-mana 2-4 kind of machine. Whenever you activate an ability that targets a creature or player, copy that ability, you may choose new targets. So pretty good with the mercenaries. Stupid. Oh, here's the plan. This time I'm going to start off by taking Boros cards, and then they're going to pass me all the good blue-green. Maybe that's what's going to happen. Hmm. Ah, uh, the hearse is just solid. All right, sorry, chat. Baby stuff. Just baby things. Ariet the Beguiler. 4-4 four, four life. Oh, this is a bad card. Obeka, bad card. Tycoon, ETB, make a 1-1 one, one target creature. Sack a token. It's a good card. Repulse, derailment. That card looks good. Pterodactyl thinks the 15 months of E. Hey, there's the Eartha. Eartha, Eartha. Tether, Salvo. All right, we're looking pretty good. Four drop Boros bombs. Damn, another really solid pack here. I think I might want Ride Down over Shot. But then again, Ride Down has a higher chance of wheeling, does it? No, I guess there aren't enough cards in this pack. Yeah, I'll take the Ride Down. It cuts off the red-white signal better, and it's just as good, if not better, of a removal spell. So... Trophied with a mill deck, nice. Eartha with the tapper. Yeah, the uh, non-mount tapper. This pack kind of sucks. Oh, Boros doesn't really have many... Uh, uh, outlaws, does it? Or at least none of the creatures I have right now are outlaws. Guess I could take Gold Pan? Lean and Scimitar is probably not the worst here. Yeah, there's upside with the land, too. Oh, that's right. I, I do make. Okay, never mind. I'm, li I'm lying. Duh. I make mercenaries. That's fine. Plus, this has trample, so it's good with tricks. 
Sacrifice any number of permanents you control, draw that many cards. Let's take the... Damn, that's a late brigand! Archway is pretty bad in this kind of deck. Wolverine. I am not a fan of the lackey. It's probably not bad, but I am not a fan of it. Lackey is amazing. Top 10 common. Cringe. Ugh. Cringe. Yo, 20 gems! Smashing. Rolling Thunder Angry Armadillo. Pick one, pack one was Bruce. Bruce. Malcolm! All right, we got a sharpshooter here. We got a prickly pear here. Griffin's all right. Another brigand. The Minotaur is so good. The prickly pear is also so good. <sighs> I want to take the prickly pear, but I know I'm supposed to take the sharpshooter. Molten Duplication. Create a token that's a copy of target artifact or creature you control, except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. It gains haste until end of turn, sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. And we have some okay targets for it. That doesn't seem particularly exciting for us. I don't lose much here, though. I lose a Griffin and a Lullaby, which, I mean, I guess Lullaby is okay if I have a bunch of tappers. I'm going to try it. I'm going to take it. But, yeah, for the record, I do not think it's particularly good. Bovine Intervention. It's not bad. Wouldn't say it's particularly good, but it's not bad. Charger is also solid, but I don't really want any more fours. Roxanne? Yeah, Roxanne's very good. I don't really want to splash. My fixing is a Mine Raider and a Conduit. <sighs> I guess, I, again, I'm not losing much here. Four mana weird sack. Scale Storm Summoner is also really cool. Eryx! I'm going to probably end up cutting Roxanne. Another Archmage's Charm. Another Erynx! Two Erynx? I think we're locked for at least five wins.
I'm going to end up cutting this duplication. What does Aerings do? It's a 2 mana 3 1 unblockable. That scries. Literally exact text. Not the biggest fan of this card, but it does often get two hits. <sighs> Any first pickable comments? Yeah, seems like there are a ton. But there are also so many first pickable rares, mythics, and uncommons that you're generally not going to be first picking them. Archive trap! There it is! Oh no! <laughs> but we got that pass. Is it worth 10k gold to play this draft? That is entirely up to you. That is not for me to say. Hey, pick nine. Whoa, somebody is going to get the trap into the lock picker. Damn. That's so cool. God, make your own, de make your own uh, luck is so good too. I mean, limited formats these days, you're never scrounging for playable, so wheeling a bunch of good stuff is not entirely surprising, I would say. How's my removal? Ride down, sharpshooter. Yeah, I'm going to take the intervention. Jeez. Hey, four mana, seven, seven, flying trample. Da, 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 da. That is literal text. Oh, yeah, with plot. Da, 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 the sting, a back, scorpion, terror, dragon thingy. Rawr. Yeah, the meme's dead. Four mana, seven sevens. Destroy an artifact, destroy an enchantment, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature target player controls. I could put a counter on my creatures, or I could just, you know, Erynx, and probably end up wheeling raid. It's high noon. Wow, this pack is garbage. Is this playable in our deck? This is a bait card, but I'm not playing anything else, so we're just going to take the gems. Destroy all creatures with power greater than target creatures' power. Probably not. It doesn't just go face. You can hit creatures. It says any target, but... Our deck is so cheap that there are going to be a lot of times where we want to cast multiple spells, so. All right. Lassoed by the law. Sorry, take up the shield. Yeah. 
even though we have a bunch of uh, mercenaries now off of our creatures, I don't think I'm playing the Mind Raider. I need a couple more tricks, I feel like. How are we doing right now? We have Lasso. There's another prickly pear. Lasso, Salvo, Ride Down. I wonder if I'm supposed to take this. But it's a third prickly pear. No, I'm just taking pricklies. I've wanted to try this card, but I'm a little bit hesitant to. Probably just want to take a tapper here. Some more interaction. Prickly Trio. Quick draw. I think we want that. I'm a little bit short on playables right now, so. Uh, yeah, I don't need fixing. Is this a 17 land red white? It might be. I guess maybe Trick Shot should come in and I'll just cut something bad. Oh, well, I do think we want this too. A 1 1 counter on each creature is pretty good. Our deck has so many token makers. Yeah, I'll cut the I'll cut the trick shot. We don't need it. And I'll cut one pedal, maybe. Maybe I don't need the robbery. I guess pedal's probably better than robbery. Similar effect, but I get a 2 2. Jolene! We got Jolene and Roxanne. I have a total of three mounts. We could run this as our 17th land. I don't think this would be a bad 17th. Oh man, I want that shield too. Uh, Alright, I need to cut a card again. It is just one of the peddlers. I also have too many four drops, but I'm not cutting any of the fours. Well, I probably don't want to cut any more twos. We're at six two drops. I mean, how good is Hearse? It does get big eventually. And there are graveyard synergies in the format. Eh, I guess that's probably too good. Give it random value. I guess maybe quick draw can be cut now. Nah, I can cut the quick draw. That's fine. All right, deck's great. Let's go. Yep, there are enough graveyard shenanigans that I think the hearse is good. Win the die roll, no Erinx. It's just rule of law. Lose the die roll, always Erinx. <gasps> He's the number one! The number one for a reason! Bro, what? No, the combo! What? What? Seriously? The combo, man. Come on. Easy game. Wow. Four mana, four three. That makes a two, two in at ETBs. Unbeatable. Well, that's an awkward reveal, but it's until the end of my next turn, right? Yeah. Never mind. It's not awkward at all. 
Oh, shoot, this thing has double strike. That's right. <laughs> oh, Bruce! You golden god! You're too late. And yours doesn't even make an ox like mine does. Wow, rip. They're just daubs, right? Game's way too easy, chat. Way too easy. They did get me good. The ping land plus skewer. That's a combo, baby. I have not actually done sealed. Usually I start off with a ton of seal. Oh, that's not true. I did seal during the early access. God, just another perfect hand. Oogie, thanks to the tier one subby. What's up, Halent? Thanks to the 48 months. I'm telling you, we were platinum or something yesterday. We're going to take a peek at our rank after today's crushings, and we're going to be mythic number one easy. All right, here comes the Erynx. It is known. It is, yes. It's just bugged visually. This is ranked. It is ranked. It's ranked. There is rank. Oh, I'm actually going to pitch the second peddler here, I think. Dun, 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 dun. Brute. I needed a land. I missed a pump. Oopsies. They should be at 13 right now. Grayson? Let's do it. No blocks? That seemed like an easy double block on my uh, prickly pair. Huh. Take it though. I'm very proud of you. That's not the one they wanted, I think, because if I get rid of the tether, then I can, uh, or I get another token back. They did put a land. So they want land number six, double red. Bro, what is going on? All right, what's going to wreck me? They just no blocks. Oh, all right, GG.
A bold strategy did not work out. They should have blocked earlier. They were still dead if they double blocked there. But they if they had double blocked earlier, they were probably gonna be okay-ish. Maybe. Imagine. Six razzle dazzles. Mmm, on the draw, wah wah. Activating an ability that targets a creature or player, so it does not work with hearse. What draft is this? I don't know. Oh, I don't think I kept track of the drafts I did during early access. Not that those particularly count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is our eighth draft of the format. God, that frickin' reach always makes me think the creature has ward. And I'm like, wait a minute. I need to land next turn, chat. Please. Please. Please! Thank you. The Gila Courser is really good, too. I didn't realize it, but... Uh, until the end of your next turn, and it's only one to saddle. It's always the first draft. No, oh, I'm going to get skewered again. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll double block that. That's worth. Wait, what? Oh, they're just not attacking. Yeah, you like that? You like that? I'm attacking with the 4-2. Play the scorpion, bro. I don't need to, bro. We want to wait until we can hold up, take up the shield. Although, I guess it's most likely that they would have a enchantment removal spell. We take six? Absolutely. Might take more. <sighs> It does, but this is a mount, so I can't tap that anyway. OP. They have decided on death. All right, I will attack you with my six to oh. I'm aimlessly 
not aimlessly. I did not mean to attack with Earth or Joe. It's not a big deal, but it is not what I meant to do. I mean, I guess we get them, kind of. Did he just say bro and I'm out? See ya. See ya, bro. No, I wanted to save the indestructible for our dragon. That wasn't a good play. Yeehaw! Alright. What you got? Ooh! Yikes! Uh, I guess they just get to draw two here, but still, that's pretty bad. Cool Whip Fra, thanks for the 90 months, Abby. Gaming at nap time, thanks to the Prime Zubby. Matthew, you've ran that joke into the ground. The next time you say something about 2%, you have a 2% chance of getting timed out indefinitely. It's only a 6-6 six, six flyer, and then it's going to turn to a 5-5 five, five on my draw step. Awful. Who's Matthew? Twitchers don't know the tubers, and the tubers don't know the twitchers. Unless they're both. YouTube. They didn't even saddle it. Did we solve the format? Is Boros once again the key? Boros with bombs. Or just Simic with bombs, including Oko. Uh-oh. If a match is taking this long, we might actually be pretty high ranked now. Is it possible we could be in Mythic? What? We were like Plat something yesterday? Uh, Alright, I'll keep this. Needs a two drop, but worst case scenario, hopefully we can salvo something on turn two if we need. Oh, that's frequently the uh, the case. Aggro dominates in the early uh, portion of a format, but usually it'll level out a bit afterwards. Usually. You can, I just don't want to check it yet. Wolverine? Nice. That is a mount. The ranch saving me from myself. Brrr, value. I'm falling behind, chat!
Eh. Planes off the top. I'm falling behind! I think I need to do this. As much as I don't want to, kind of need to find a planes. Wow, 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 so many mountain. Too many mountain. <laughs> Joke's on you. I now can make my hearse a 1-1. One, one. What is this mirror match garbage? We're dead. I need to find a castable spell that's three or less next turn. So that I can play it and then salvo Bruce. That doesn't work. Works next turn, I guess, but feeling pretty dead. Why am I playing this land? Because it also scries, or surveils. Ah, uh, if we had killed Bruce last turn, I might have had a shot. It's looking pretty bad. Okay, take eight or more. Sure. Take eight. Actually, you know, if they draw a land next turn, there is a small chance I can stabilize. Wait, no, am I dead on board? Maybe I'm dead on board. Even with killing the Bruce. Oh wait, no, I'm not dead on board. Oh, sweet Jesus. Holders? Land in your hand, and I have a small chance. Joke's on them, I can target my graveyard, sucker. So I need to hit Erinx off of this. Ah, I th we might have stabilized there if I had drawn a spell. Man, so sick! All right, you got me. We might have actually stabilized. That's so sick. Just needed anything, dude. I wonder if I should have actually activated the land on my upkeep. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Very possible I messed up by not doing so since I don't have that many expensive cards in the deck. Oh good, the perfect hand. Wow, I want to keep this. Do I get greedy? One red source in this hand is amazing. I'm on the draw. I'm keeping it. I don't need it that turn. I simply need it next. How about next turn, then? Come on. Oh, regret starts to set in. What did they mill? The worm? I'm playing against NCAA! <laughs> no! 
Now, admittedly, this might have been a planes in the deck anyways. Right? Because I believe we have more white pips than red. We just happen to have an all white hand or red hand. Oh, well. You know what? It might not have actually mattered. We'll just think of it like that. It might not have actually mattered. Troll draw. Troll draw. Yeah, Bonnie's pretty good. Insta stabilization. Bonnie herself has reach. Card advantage engine. I think I'm just taking it. 14 on the chin. Oh, good. This is fine. Yeah, all right. Well, I think Bonnie was still going to wreck us even if I had ripped a red source. I mean, it would have been a closer game, sure, but. Sometimes you risk it for the biscuit. Oh, wait, let's double check the deck. Oh, no, we do have more red pips. This this ranch probably would have been a mountain. I mean, I still think that was a little bit unfortunate and just hilarious that we ended up drawing the ranch, but... Godspeed, thanks for the 29 months, subby. I know I can check rank. We don't want to yet. We want to get to seven wins here and then hope that we're in Mythic. But... Yeah, it's good beats. I mean, we ran really well in the previous draft. The first loss in this draft, I missed the land drop. They had Bruce that set on, t on board for a turn. And then if we rip any spell, we had stabilized. And that last loss, obviously, kept a speculative hand that didn't get there, so... I'm all right with it. No shame, no regrets. Aha! OP knows and understands the power of the turn to Erinx, and we say no. Not on my watch. Would have enjoyed drawing anything castable there, but it is what it is. I'm just going to lead on Bruce. The upside's way too high if they don't have anything. One four flying lifelink. Whenever it attacks while saddled, it gets plus X plus X and then turn where X is the number of mounts you control. Okay. Oh god, they have the freaking... What you call it? Yeah, snake skin. We still attack here, because even though they gain two life, the upside, again, of making a token, pretty good. Wow! Bruce! Dude, 3-6 Flying Lifelink is kind of OP here. These don't have Double Strike anymore, remember? Bro. Griffin in a dream. Holy crap. That's 29 life? Mother of God. A 
Are they saying they have another snakeskin veil? I think they are. I think they're representing another snakeskin and we're just gonna lose to that freaking griff. Critical thanks to the two months subby. Bro, serious? This is his what is going on? I mean we're dead. Holy crap. This is not how I was supposed to end the day, but I guess it's going to have to be that way. Ah, you can't be raging. Their draw was great. That's all you can say. Good draw, good beats. The uh, outlaw card? No, I don't think I do. Nope, I wasn't planning on streaming today, since it's Wednesday. But it's a new set, so wanted to get some reps in before I got to record a bunch of stuff. Down to 21! We did it! I think they have another snake... If I'm not dead here, I think they have another snakeskin in their hand. So I hope I draw the path, and then they still have the, the way to protect it once more. Hey! Scrybug! Alright, GG's. <laughs> Got dumpstered on by a 3-mana 1-4 flyer. All right, well, with that, I don't think we're probably in Mythic. We might be high diamond if we're lucky. Oh, wow! Actually, had we trophied that draft, we might have hit Mythic. Damn, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not a bad run. All right, friends, that is it for me today. Gotta save our packs. We will be back tomorrow for your normally scheduled stream, but just a short Wednesday stream today. Um... There will be a normally scheduled YouTube video going up at 2 p.m. Pacific. I'm also going to be recording Thunder Junction for Card Kingdom. So, if again, if you're not aware, every week I upload one video to the Card Kingdom YouTube channel. So if you're missing extra content from me, you can check that page out. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go record now after stream ends. As always, thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. And I'll see you back tomorrow for some funsies. So GG's. Love you and goodbye.